so just for shits and giggles, I'm printing out a part here uh, at 70 millimeters a second on the NPCNC, which is ridiculous. As you can see, it's having a little bit of trouble laying down the infill. Um, got some that didn't stick and just strung out. It's also kind of cold in here tonight, so no heated bed, nothing like that. Uh, it's pretty much at the mercy of the uh, of the elements. But believe it or not, it's printing well. The uh, outer walls are printing good. There's still some vibration in my machine that I need to work out. it's printing the holes no support no problem that's all working as you can see a little bit of a, a vibration in the texture um, I'm still wearing some of the zinc off of my rods but everything's coming out pretty good I'm really impressed with the MPC and C at this point um, first initial test were kind of garbage, but I didn't have a secure bed to print on at the time. And now, I'm getting fairly decent prints. Uh, it looks like about 50 millimeters a second is going to be the speed, you know, top speed that I'll be able to print with this thing. It does the sidewalls pretty good, but there's a lot more material in there. Uh, this is a really big part. It would have taken over a day to print at 65% uh, infill like it should be. So I turned it down to 15% infill and just made the walls thicker. I just as a test just to see how it's going to come out. It's basically the uh, original corner block matched with just a longer bottom um, that I designed. I may use these leg designs uh, in a later iteration of this. If I ever do any upgrades. But just to print four of these at the infill that I need on this machine at top speed, which would be 50 millimeters per second. Um, this machine will take 4.8 days to print all four legs like this. So, um, that's going to be a future print. That's not going to happen tonight. I just can't get enough how well this thing prints. A couple pieces of EMT and some printed parts. Alright, peace.